As you may know, Rodman Hall has been sold to a developer, leaving a collection of important art, one of the biggest collections in Niagara, without a home. The Rodman Art Institute is asking for your help in guiding the future of the collection. Karen Carter is here with us. Karen, why is this collection so important? Uh, it's important because it is a representation of 60 years of a art museum that was rooted in this region that was started to allow this region to have a sense of arts and culture as a key driver for community. Um, it's work that has been gifted to the institution. So, you know, people acquire art and they want to ensure that it's a, out there for the public good so the general public can access it. And then they gift it to an institution with the expectation that the institution is going to be there in perpetuity, like for hundreds of years. So people know things like the ROM and the AGO or, you know, the Tate Britain or the MoMA. This was to be those things for the region. And so reestablishing the space so the collection becomes accessible again to community is a key reason for uh, the Rodman Hall Art Institute of Niagara's establishment. Right now that collection is in climate controlled storage, yes. being protected, yes. but it needs to come out. What are some of the significant works that are in that collection? So uh, I won't get into specific words, but things like uh, representation from the group of seven, from painters 11. So there is a sense that it has Canadian representation. Folks may know Ed Bertinsky is from the region, um, grew up in St. Catharines area, his family's from here. So there's work from someone like Ed, who's you know one of the best Canadian artists known globally. But we're hoping to get to a place where there's a balance, hopefully through gifting and borrowing and trading with other institutions where we can make room for better representation of local artists. Uh, one of our consultations is going to be in Welland with the Welland Art Collective and things like that's really important because you start get a, to get a sense with collectives and artist run centers of who's up and coming, who are the artists, like Brendan Fernandez is an artist who he did some work with us recently but he's in Chicago but from Niagara region. Um, uh, there's a lot of opportunity to really reinvigorate by making sure the collection is representative of the artists in the region and to use that as a driver for how we move forward. That session in Welland, September 15th. Mm -hmm. September 17th, you're at the BME Salem Chapel yes. uh, for another one of these sessions. Yes. What are you hoping to hear from the public? Are, are you accepting their advice? Uh, literally. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're um, uh, my uh, involvement in this at this early stage is I'm a community-centered museum practice professional. People don't call me unless they're interested in the community's voice being central to the process because that for me is how you make a museum relevant. It's to make sure what you're doing is of interest to community. So 50% of it is sharing information with people so this conversation so they kind of know what they're getting into and the other 50 percent is okay you volley out to community what do they volley back to you and when you take that information how do you make sure they see oh my voice and my opinion is included in this process moving forward. So I can't say that we're hoping for one thing. We're just hoping that lots of people come out, lots of opinions are had. If people want to say, hey, what are you doing to make sure there's programming for children so that there's connections either to schools or for parents to take children to on the weekends? How are you collaborating with things like artist run centers or collectives so that opportunities are there for local artists to show their work? And do you get a say as a community person about the things that we might bring in from the rest of Canada or internationally? If we can't make it out to those two sessions that I've just mentioned, there's also an online survey. Yes, uh, there's an online survey that you can get uh, from our website and there's also uh, an online session that we have actually Tuesday uh, evening tomorrow. So we're hoping between the Zoom session on Tuesday and the two in-person sessions as well as the survey monkey that's been circulated uh, and you can get that on our social media platforms as well as uh, on the website at um, Rodman Art Center of Niagara. If you Google us, all that stuff will come up. So these are steps to getting a new space, a new gathering space yeah. for artists and for this art. Karen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for taking the time.